Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Rapido USRA single sheath boxcars and several different schemes, Milwaukee Roads, SP, Chicago Northwestern, and Delaware and Hudson. These are gonna look and operate great behind my older stuff, like the Big Blow Turbine and Coal Turbine uh, when I get the layout up and running. But let's take a look at what you get in the box on these USRA single sheath box cars from Rapido in a HO scale, of course, starting next. Okay, we will unbox the SP. And in the box, there's some information that I may read off to you and pretend like I know. Some underbody detail parts that you can put on yourself. Uh, separately, they have their own. Might just be spare because there's some applied to on the car. So there's the car. We'll set this down and get the others out of the box and take a closer look at all four. Okay, we're going to take one and point out some of the details. They are all similar in detail, so I'll just take one to point out the details here. I've lost my skewer pointer, so we'll just zoom in here and use a very strange little screwdriver. But you have SP markings and all the... Uh, road name and capacity limits all that stuff is on there We've got an sp logo there as well i'm going to zoom in even a little more you see the support beams that help make this car uh you know stay structurally intact the door with even the little bit of latch detail is intricately done i think if they made it operating it would be way too large uh, and oversized on the detail so it isn't operating but you can see the separate door track the locking mechanism you can see uh, the basically the door um, hinge that goes in the track right there we turn it around and look at this one more of the same side or on the other side I should say got metal wheels Katie couplers brake wheel at the end here and a little stand area for crews to be able to access the brake wheel along with the grab irons and ladder there on the side for them to get up to the brake wheel or walk along the top and you see a walkway there with the wood paneling recreated more of the joined uh, ribbing or whatever you want to call it beams for how the car is put together and even the wooden siding is replicated here with all those different little components that kind of make that siding appear to be wooden on the bottom brake rigging detail air reservoir for the brake lines which was still a thing back then and you can see the bottom of the trucks as well with those metal wheels that gives you a really good look at the door and those intricate little details, even the door stop there to the right, it keeps the door from flying off. The rails, so to speak, or the little door guide, I should say. And even a little uh, R is indicated right there by the door latch. So very intricate detail, even the bolt and rivet detail uh, all around the doors molded into this car. Like I said, all the cars seem to be really similar. I don't see much changes at all, if any, other than color. Even the truck color on this matches the body, so I'll just do a 360. You do see the coupler cut lever and ladders on each side, or grab irons, whatever you want to call them. And just try to get to a point to where you can see the writing on the ends for the road number and uh, the Ford letter road specification. Here's Chicago North, Northwestern. That was Milwaukee Road, by the way. Got the CNW logo here. 
Let's do a little Vanna White action, 360, so you can see that. And last but not least, here's Delaware and Hudson. Rapido definitely does not shorten on any details, that's for sure. So there are our, all four cars. Let's do some other testing. Okay, we have our scale here and a measuring stick. The car body is five, a little over five and a half inches long. Now the NMRA says that you should have an initial ounce and then half an ounce per half an inch of car body. So what we should be looking at is uh, 3.75 ounces and we are sitting at 3.6 ounces so pretty close to that NMRA guideline 102 grams so those are your weight specs and length on the car okay now we're just running these back and forth they run smooth they don't seem to have bogged down a train so I think you can have a pretty good length train without any issues we'll start here with the Delaware and Hudson Body wobble is minimal, if at all. Doesn't look like there is any body wobble. If so, it's like half a second. So yeah, it's they're sturdy cars, run well, coupler height is good, and the weight is very, very close to MRA. The uh, wheel gauge, we can look at one on camera, you know, but I know some people like to see it on camera, some people trust me, <laughs> but the wheel gauges are good as well for NMRA compliance, so as you can see there all of the wheels are engaged, so pretty good car and very should be a very reliable runner. So unfortunately layout's down right now, I know you guys have had that on and off throughout videos, so I won't be able to run anything, I am finishing up some wiring on some yards and we will finally be able to move into scenery very quickly after a long period of stagnation due to my day job just driving me up a wall and keeping me very busy. So thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you next time right here on the channel. Take care.